Uh, Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like give all praise and glory and honor to to your Abba Basha, get out Shai Basha, and Makakadash. Shalom to the elders for precious words and fleeing sincerely, and Shalom to the Akim, scattered four corners of the globe, which words and fleeing sincerely as well, too. I say Shalom to the Akim out there, and this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out of this recent news article from the uh, Wall Street. Wall Street stock is exchange over there in New York City. Especially with the closing bell, I would say like about uh, uh, say six hours ago. And uh, this is a news article from CNBC.com published by Sarah Min and Samantha Southern from uh, CNBCnews.com which is published by them. And this is a uh, and the title of this lesson it reads, and this is updated June the 23rd, 2023 at 6.08 p.m. Eastern Time. And it reads, uh, stocks, stocks tumble on Friday. NASDAQ snaps at eight winning, I mean, a eight week winning streak. Uh, live updates. It says the stocks slid Friday with Wall Street posting a losing streak as a wally that carried the border broader uh, market in recent months appears to run out of steam. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 219.28 points or 0.65% to 33727.43 and the S&P 500 slid 0.77% to 4,348.33, while the Nasdaq Composite closed lower by 1.01% to end 13,492.52 to 13,492.52. All three major average broke multi-week winning streaks. The S&P 500 lost about 1.4%, ending about consecutive Ending five consecutive weeks of gains, the Nasdaq dropped 1.4%, snapping a eight-week win streak, posting its worst weekly performance since March. The Dow Jones nearly 1.7% lower, ending a three-week positive run. And this is a graphic statistic shows right here of the Dow Jones Industrial as of today. Uh, down negative point two nineteen point twenty eight uh, minus zero point sixty five percent. Investors are definitely exhibiting the renewed fears of a U.S. recession once again, as it been previous times, especially in the year twenty twenty three. But continuing on, I just want to add a note to that, as well as a global recession. Says uh, AXS, I mean AXS Investments CEO Greg Bosco Bask Suck, if I pronounce his name right. Inflation's leaving remain elevated, elevated in Federal Reserve policies definitely remains investors' narrative. The pullback was broad based with more than 400 th uh, stocks in the S&P 500 trading in negative territory. Information technology was the one of the biggest laggers down more than 1%. Notably, shares <coughs> of NVIDIA and major artificial intelligence beneficiaries were down 1.9%. Meanwhile, Goldman Sachs and shares declined after CNBC reports an investment bank likely face a large write down for its 2021 acquisition of Finch Tech form Green Sky. The stock was down 1.5%, waiting on the Dow. In contrast, CarMax shares jumped 10% after the used car retailer exceeded the first quarter revenue expectations.
This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, and verse 7, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made the earth drunken. The nations had drunken of her, therefore the nations are mad. Jeremiah 51 and 8, Babylon is suddenly fallen, destroy how for her table and for her pain, and so she may be healed. Jeremiah 51 and 9, who would have healed by pain, she is not healed, forsaking her, and let us go everyone to his own country. For her judgment reached unto heaven, and it slipped her even to the sky. And this is Revelation chapter 18, verse 2. <coughs> He cried with a mighty strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitations of deceivers, and a hole of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean H A T E F U L bird. But we're seeing the effects of uh, the version out of Babylon, as far as economic wise, because we've been seeing the markets been going up and down from a uh, balance, up and down, balance slope, especially with the. Uh, there's times when you've been seeing the value of the American dollar have some values, have some increasing values of the American dollar as a uh, formerly was a top global currency reserve, which that's being replaced with uh, China or Russia reserve. So we definitely have been seeing signs of the American dollar having a little bounce back. There's times it's completely collapsed due to the markets been going up and down as well too. Due to the inflation, due to, to the, the uh, economic data statistics and stuff like that. So that's been uh, definitely uh, up and down slope uh, back and forth from the year 2022 now into the year 2023. So we've been seeing the markets and the economy uh, up and down, up and down balance slope, you know. But you know, I just want to add uh, an additional note to that. So, uh, let me go back to uh, uh, Salaki for that. So, as we see once again, uh, the stocks tumble. On Friday, the NASDAQ snaps an eight-week winning streak. So today, the uh, NASDAQ composite, the S&P 500, and the Dow Jones Industrial was all down today. And as it ends its long winning streak, and I believe this was a worse, uh, worse losses since March for the S&P 500 or the NASDAQ, if I'm not mistaken. That was always ringing down through the... Uh, as I was reading through the article of this. So with that, hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying in regards to reading of this news article and bringing out the Holy Scriptures and pertains to this news article as well too. So with that, hopefully this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, and Kakadash. Shalom to the elders for Christian word, truthfully and sincerely, and shalom to the Akia, scattered through the four corners of the globe, Christian word, truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I will say shalom.